All right, so I got the uh, the brass monkey over here. Yep. Gonna adjust it. I don't think I've tested this one out yet. I just have uh, run it. So we're gonna traumatize this grapefruit with this thing real quick, and then. Uh, we got the other machine over here, uh, the uh, fake Mickey Sharps hybrid. I don't know how close it is to being fake. <laughs> it might not even be a good clone. Um, so, let's see here. What are we running at? 90. Oh, man. Boy, that's brutal. Let me just try it just for the hell of it, oh boy. Seven and a half volts, so this thing is gonna tear your head off, I think. It works, but hit too hard, I think. I'm gonna turn it down to Man. I think this one runs really good. We'll go to six volts. Still pretty hard at six. Five and a half. Yeah, I think five and a half is like not bad. <laughs> I just I like to hear the machine bog when I use it because it's like if I don't still not bogging but we're on a great cruise. This machine doesn't run as fast as I want, so what I need to do is change the capacitor on it, but. It seems to do okay. So, these grommets, they really don't like to come off. I don't have any other ones though. So, that's the brass monkey. Um, I gotta keep these straight with each other. Okay, that's uh, that one. That's this one. Then that's the first one. And I think I'm probably going to keep them all. So here's fake Mickey. And uh, I didn't want to go through there, did it? Like the tip of the thing is too big. Something. There we go. Yeah, that grip works pretty good. Oh, this has got a nice feel to it. It's lighter than the brass one, but it's still pretty heavy. That's right, this ain't gonna run at no five volts. Not gonna happen. This one, for some reason, be about probably. Seven something. Now we were running a lot faster before. Oh, 
What a hate roll. too hard. Hmm. I think I got that watered down ink again. Okay, so it's not quite running where I want it. One twenty. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. I just did a bunch of little lines just because I just wanted to see. How consistent it is. Yeah, 117 at 58. Got a little bit of a bog, you can hear it. But because I'm tattooing a grapefruit, it's probably logging too easily. I wish I could get it to run a little faster. Get to match my hand speed, you know. I like to work fast. Things just dump in ink though, it's really annoying. I don't like it when it dumps ink like that. That's run pretty good. I 
I just see how, you know, doodling around. But. You can't, you know, obviously, I'm just kind of doing like a bunch of lines, but. Yeah, I don't know. Seems like it has potential. This ink that I'm using right now is like really badly watered down, so um, it's hard to say how this machine will do, but um, the clamp is actually better than I thought. I thought I might have problems with it, but it's like super easy. Put it where you want it. And don't have to really tighten it real hard like the other ones. The other ones out there, like, sometimes tighten it more than once because I'm like tattooing and the machine slides down. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of got a, like a pretty good weight to it, like, where it's like not too heavy, not too light. Like, I feel like I can just kind of float it. So, I think it's a good machine. For uh, the $5.99 plus tax, I ordered this, and uh, I ordered another one, but it hasn't shipped. And I found um, the, uh, I, I've already told you guys about this, but the sellers are all, like five or six, seven, maybe ten sellers, all selling these and Mickey Sharp's clones, uh, all you know, guillotine style. They all look really, really old. And if you find them on eBay, you'll see what I'm talking about because you'll see like on the bottom here that shows rust. And that's exactly what it looked like when it showed up. So, um, I've been trying to get all the little rust out of here. I don't know what they did to this. Like if they like finished it or something with uh, like some kind of gun blowing and then they didn't finish it here. And they didn't finish it in between. Um, or there. But then the other side. You see their little grind mark here. So they, they grinded it and polished it. And then like I think maybe. Did a heat treatment or gun blowing or something. But. Um, it would have been nice if they would have done the whole machine. But they didn't so. But I mean. This thing is. Uh, you know. five ninety nine. I mean, it's really pretty damn good for that price. And I hadn't had to really fiddle with this any more than I would have uh, any of the other machines that I never got to work right. So, I've ordered a bunch off of Amazon, you know. I've never gotten them to work right. So, this, I had to take it apart and clean it and, and everything, but... It um, had actually good enough springs to where um, it wants to run like a liner. And then uh, the capacitor, uh, being a, a 10, boy, it runs fast. So this is great.